This is my water storage project I'm working on. Um, this will store enough water for four people for 27 to 30 days. And you're going to cut four 2x4s at 56 inches long. Make a mark 12 inches, then three and a half, then 25, then three and a half again, and that should be 12 here. Total of 56. You cut these out of eight foot 2x4s. Then you take your leftovers here. And these are going to be for your cross supports. Right here. These right there. Here we are uh, mounting some cross supports. 12 inch mark. Like so. Make sure it's square. This is what your upright should look like. I have two of them built. As you can see here. And I'm going to make my side, side rails here in a minute and start putting barrels on. I just put the cross ports together. These are 32 inches long and I've got them like interlocked so put the bearing weight there ain't any bearing weight here but I like to kind of tie things together like so lag bolted them I pre-drilled each hole keeps you from splitting the wood and makes it so much stronger Okay, we just put these cross supports. These are going to help support the barrel, the weight of the barrel. Also in here and along in here. The barrel's going to cradle and these are going to work like a cradle. And uh, I lag bolt them in. Also, now I got to do the bottom set and I'm ready to put the barrels on here and start doing the plumbing. 3 16 paddle bit on a piece of wood. Put your bung in there, put it in center. You want to watch out for your threads. Grab onto it firmly. And then just after it gets so far, it'll just snap right out. Just like so. Two and a half inch nipple, three quarter pipe thread, three quarter pipe thread with a T. And you're going to go on like so. Put Teflon tape in all the threads. You have two T's. A uh, piece of pipe in there. I put a union in here, so if I want to break this unit apart, another T, another T. Here is my two barrel system. I got two 55 gallon drums, uh, food grade barrels. I put a spigot here. You connect your gar regular garden hose to drain off. You're going to need to change out this water every six months. And I put a union in right here. This comes apart to take, a, if I want to separate these, haul them away, um, bring them up to a different location because I made this so I could take it apart. I put a valve here and then an inch and a half to three inch 
reducer so I can take a bucket of water and pour it in there. I have different ways of resupplying the system if it's in a bad situation. So. I'm going to try not to spill it all over me. Oh, there we go. That's what you can go get your water from a pond, whatnot, well, and you can always keep your system full because that's going to be probably a daily chores, making sure you have water on hand all the time. So send the kids to the pond, have a pitcher pump outside, pump it, um, boil it. So uh, you just keep it in storage for when you can't get outside or do any water recovery.